آزادی یعنی آزادی Do you want me to translate it? Freedom means freedom You should feel free and you should be free in any way that you should feel free to express your what you think you should really be free I'm a journalist and I think Iran is the first country to be for a journalist because I'm a journalist because of my articles because what I wrote about I can't back to my own com uh, my own country and I'm just Iranian but I am not alone I mean I can go to my country but I should go to jail this is the really it's not fair In Iran, most of the time of a journalist is occupied by self-censorship. Because as a journalist working in a newspaper, you don't want to publish something which could put the fate of your newspaper and the livelihood of your colleagues uh, at risk. I think freedom is fundamental to the uh, freedom of expression, is fundamental to a healthy society. To be honest, I think that many Iranians never experienced freedom. Most of the people in Iran, they have to pretend something they are not. Because since you're a, ch uh, you're a child, that you've been told that you should do this, this is the rule, this is that you should follow it. When you're a woman, you have a dress code in a school, at workplace, and everywhere, even in public. That's why you don't really feel free that I have option to choose what I want to be or what I want to do. When I moved to UK, I found that, okay, I can think about other things. I can, I, I shouldn't, I can be anything that I want. Why I should think just this structure that I've been told. Like, I can be anything. I want to be blogger. I want to do vlogging. I want to do anything. I want to post anything on my social media. This is me. Well, I'm very concerned about the future of freedom of expression because I think we're, we are in a, in a transition between news and fake news and non-news. The society, instead of becoming more sensitive towards issues that should matter to everyone, are more sensitive to celebrity gossip. But I have to say, even in those difficult conditions, um, my colleagues in Iran uh, are doing an excellent job in reporting um, all aspects of um, social and political life, and every day they're pushing the boundaries. I think Iranians always are, always fight uh, for, uh, Iranians always fight for their rights, any kind of right they want, and freedom is one of them, and Iranians fighting now, right now they are fighting for their rights, for freedom, even women they are fighting, and they don't accept of what they've been told. And that's why I think in future they will reach the point that they have some freedom. Freedom for me personally is the right to visit my home country, uh, which I am um, unfortunately um, I don't have that freedom. Uh, it's been denied uh, by the Iranian government, despite the fact that I haven't committed any crime. It's just because I'm a journalist and I've worked in different media. And um, if I go back, I would be I would be jailed. I would have to be uh, integrated. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, put on trial and all of that and. Uh, I think while I can travel the entire globe, which I travel a lot, but I cannot visit Iran, it's I feel as if I'm a prisoner because uh, my heart and soul lies in the country and I like to visit it. And I don't see why I won't, why am I seen as a 
national security threat. I mean, I, I'm just a journalist, you know. So that's, for me, that would be the utmost freedom, something that I pray for. Mm -hmm.